Hey everyone, I am so excited to announce the very first devlog video and therefore the launch of a new development series. Before we start, and since you are used to seeing the balcony view of each developer on YouTube, I will provide you with a sneak peek of mine. So I decided to show you the new project I'm working on lately and really hope to have you on board for the rest of the series. The game is about stranded slimes in the middle of the ocean, and since they are slimes, the main feature of the game will be the ability to merge them, fuse them, combine them or however you want to call it. The first thing I created was the tile map of the island. It consists of 9 tiles that are totally loopable within 3 frames in order to achieve a nice looking animation later. With the same process, I also created some tiles with grass variations so that the final island won't be as boring to look at as some other views. The engine I am using for the game development is Unity, the same that I am working with for all of the tutorials on my channel. This is the first time I am using the grid and tile map system of Unity, so I had to do some research on that. After a couple of minutes, and since my IQ is way over 9000, I mastered the animated tiles and used them to fill in the first tile map. So the island will be very small at the beginning of the gameplay, but after playing for a while you can upgrade to a bigger size, and I'm sure we all know what a bigger island size means. Right, more slimes for you to breed. Ok here is the first of many slimes, a unique, small and cute slime that no game has ever seen before. In order to bring the slime alive, I drew three different frames, a normal state, a squeezed down form and a stretched out form. I then imported the sprite sheet into Unity and created there the real animation. I am really happy with the result and I kinda love this little guy, I will name him Blobby. The next step was to give you the ability of dragging Blobby around by holding down the left mouse button on PC or by swiping on your screen on mobile. Yes, the game will be available on PC and mobile, so that all of you have the chance to play. The dragging system worked out really great, but one thing I want to change is to automatically rescue our slime and bring him back on the island, in case one of you bad gamers wants to throw Blobby into the open sea. I finally managed to achieve this by getting the name of the tile which is exactly under the mouse cursor or finger. If the name belongs to a sea tile or even a shore, Blobby will be saved. I am pretty sure there is a better solution in achieving this but for now I will keep it that way and continue working on other stuff. And that's it for this week's episode, I will try to keep you updated about the game as often as I can by uploading devlogs as long as I've made some progress I can talk about, that can range from 1 to 2 weeks. If you have any suggestions, improvement tips or features you would like to see, let me know and we can discuss it in the comments below. Of course, our weekly tutorials won't be affected by this series, and as always, every weekend I will have a new game development tutorial available. At this point, I want to thank every single one of you who subscribed on my channel and for showing your support. I hope you liked the approach of this game dev series and in the next episodes you will find out even more about this game. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Ciao!